Okay, no fancy videos today. This is strictly gonna be all about pricing on this stuff here, what works with what, and then also, is this something you really wanna buy? Because I don't think everybody's gonna tell you some of the pros and also the cons that happens to come with this. And some of the things you may wanna look out for before you actually go ahead and purchase uh, something that is so expensive like this new Delta Pro Ultra. It is really a nice unit, but there are a couple things you should know before you go ahead and make that purchase. Now, I already did make a video about this with some more detail. I will leave that down in the description. It kind of goes over more of the details about this unit, a lot of the accessories and stuff, but this is really gonna be about pricing and then also the pros and cons and also whether this is something maybe you should buy or if you should maybe look into maybe another EcoFlow product. Okay, now when it comes to pricing on the Delta Pro Ultra, this is gonna run a normal price of $5,799. During the launch time, it is gonna be $49.99, so $5,000. But if you bought that $300 coupon, you can actually pick this up with the battery and the little rolly cart. So $4,600 for this whole setup, which honestly is not that bad considering once you expand it, that's where it gets actually really cheap. Now, if you wanna buy just an extra battery, the normal price of the extra battery is gonna be $32.99, but during launch, it's $27.99, so $2,800. So if you were to purchase this whole thing during like, let's say launch pricing, this would be able to expand up to, let's just say you bought one battery that's 12 kilowatts of energy plus the inverter, that's only $7,400. That's actually not a bad price for this and it's easily stackable so you can add as you go if you want to versus other batteries. Some of the other batteries of these units only go so far, this can handle uh, five batteries total. So that ends up being 30 kilowatts just on one unit. That's that's a lot of energy just that you can stack onto one of these inverters. So it's actually pretty cool that they're able to do that. Um, another thing that's really kind of neat is that if you need to have this more of a mobile setup, you can get one of these little kind of a dolly trolleys. That's what I call it. It allows you to roll it around in just one inverter and one battery. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit portable for maybe jobs or if it maybe running concerts or weddings and you need a lot of power that's 120 volt and 240 volt, you could also utilize that item. It is kind of heavy. If, if you didn't know, the inverter alone on this weighs about, I think it's 80 pounds, and the battery itself is 120 pounds. It's pretty heavy just to lift this setup. So this is more of a stationary thing. I don't really think it's probably the best for portable. This is something you really should consider for off-grid use, home backup power, um, it could be for off-grid cabins and more. I don't know if this is really gonna be the best situation if you're looking for RV stuff. I actually think there are better options out there like EcoFlow's Power Kit. I have that right now and I've been testing it and I love that thing. There's a lot of great things about that, but that's another video. I'll have a link of that in the description as well if you wanna check it out. I'll be doing updates on that as well. Okay, now let's say you wanna go all out and buy one of these Delta Pro Ultras and you wanna get the smart home panel too. This is more like a traditional, like 100 amp distribution panel. So this isn't like the smart panel that they used to that had like these really smart relays and stuff. That was kind of a, a really cool invention that they did, but it also was pretty complicated to install. And we'll talk about that in a little bit when it comes to this, but this is going to run $18.99 at uh, normal pricing and $15.99 at launch. So that's $1,600 just for this if you wanted to, because this allows you to hook up three of the Delta Pro Ultras. So that gives you three times the capacity as far as your batteries. So if you wanted to go 30, 60, or 90 kilowatts, you can put that in here, which is, that's a lot of energy. And also it allows you to expand um, the amount of output as well. So you'll be able to go from 7,200 watts all the way up to 21.6 kilowatts of output energy. So uh, that's what's kind of the nice benefit of having this is being able to expand up that high. So, um, and we will talk a little bit more about this in a minute. Okay, now if you're wondering about the smart generator, will this work? Actually, it will and it won't. So it will not DC charge this battery, one, because this is a 100 volt battery. So this can only put out, it's uh, 52 volts, I believe, DC what comes out of this. So this is not actually gonna be able to talk to the Delta Pro Ultra, but you still can AC charge it through the normal AC slot that's up here, but you don't get the smart functionality of it starting and stopping. But 
it is still the only generator that you can start and stop within an app. So that is kind of cool that you can still do that. And being that it is 80 cc's, it's smaller, so it's going to be a little bit more fuel efficient if you got a larger generator. But herein lies the problem, is that 6,100 watt hours of energy, which is what this battery is, 6,144, you're starting to get into much larger systems. So in turn, you're going to want a larger generator anyway. This ends up taking a long time to charge up a system this big. It was great for uh, the Delta Pro. If you had two of those, it was fine. But after that, it takes a long time. So you're running this extended amounts of time just to charge up those batteries when you could get something. Um, you can charge this up to 7,200 watts with a 240 volt generator. So I think there are better options than versus using this. And if I'm not wrong, I believe there will be something in the works later that will kind of incorporate maybe something a little more automated like this one, but we will have to see. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering about that, it kind of doesn't work and I think there might be better options for charging big units like this. Now, if you don't want to use a smart home panel too, there is this cool option that's coming out. This is a power hub and this is going to allow two of the inverters to plug into each other for a 50 amp outlet. This is something you'll be able to plug into maybe a distributions panel or a transfer switch. That way you can easily just use this to plug in two of these and get a ton of power. It won't be fully automated by you know, having the smart home panel too, but at least this gives you another option to power out a lot more loads if one of these isn't enough, which for most people needing basic home backup power, one of these will actually do pretty good because if you're running really high loads like a dryer or an AC unit, you are gonna consume up battery power very, very quickly. So just keep that in mind that that's not what this stuff is for. When the power goes out, you're supposed to be conserving and just, you know, running your refrigerator and stuff like that. But if you're wanting to build, like let's say an off-grid system, well, that's when you're gonna really invest into a lot more of this, probably the smart home panel and more. So that's just something to consider. But this option, I don't know how much it actually costs yet as I don't have the pricing on it yet. I can't imagine this is gonna be too expensive. I would assume $500 or less. Um, We'll just see where that kind of goes. And I have no idea. I just kind of threw that out, uh, but we'll see. But this is cool. Okay, when it comes to Smart Home Panel 2, now this is gonna run $1,600 at launch and it's gonna be about $1,900 as normal pricing. Now, you will have to include permit fees and you will have to include an electrician to install this. So whatever that cost is, if this is looking like something that you wanna do, then I suggest getting a couple quotes, at least two, maybe three, and asking how much would it be to install this? Show them the information online, get them on board with your ideas of what you wanna do. That way you just don't buy all of this and then end up realizing, okay, well, I can't mount it where I wanted. It's gonna cost a lot more than I thought. So get them on board first before you just go and buy everything. Now we took this down to the shop and just kind of looked at it a little bit this really looks like something that you should surface mount. This doesn't really look like something that you should recess mount. Even though EcoFlow says you can, even in all their description and videos, everything shows a surface mount, which is what we're looking at as well. And this doesn't have any knockouts underneath or on the sides or at the bottom. So that's also gonna add a little bit of extra. That'll be your electrician, they'll be able to do that, but it just makes the install take a couple more minutes. Nothing much, they just have to drill their own holes. But if you did do a recess mount, this is also deeper. If you have two by four construction, it's gonna stick out, oh, a good couple inches or so. And so you'll need a two by six construction to really have this kind of all flush mounted, unless you have a certain area you can put this and you know that it's when it's recessed, it'll be okay, but that's something else to look at. So more than likely, you'll just want this surface mounted just like you would with a Eco, or not the EcoFlow, but the Enphase Smart Switch. All that other stuff is also surface mounted if you look at a lot of other backup battery systems. Now, if you're wondering how much an electrician might charge to install this after getting the permits and installation and everything, if they were going to install this in a relatively clean location, it's pretty straightforward. You don't need to do a whole bunch of uh, kind of retrofitting or anything weird. Um, probably around $1,500 is what we were looking at. We kind of looked at this and said, okay, if it's a pretty straightforward install, 
roughly 1500 give or take, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, or it could be a lot more if it's a real complicated install. So it just kind of gives you an idea you will add at least 1500, maybe $2,000 to your install price and your overall price of you know one of these whole setups. Now the Smart Home Panel 2 can have 120 and 240 volt loads up to 12 circuits. Now EcoFlow did say that you can run a tandem single pole breaker. So if you wanted to have more than 12 circuits, you could use those. That'll give you options up to 24 circuits if you really wanted to, but consult your electrician on that and maybe even consult EcoFlow if that's something you're looking at doing if 12 circuits isn't quite enough for at least the build or install you're looking at doing. Now, if you want to keep things a lot more simplistic is to just actually ditch this whole thing. Not that this isn't cool, but if you don't need the full automation, then just go with the Delta Pro Ultra and then you would just put this into basically a generator inlet box. That inlet box can power up your whole panel and then you don't need to really worry about, you know, what loads and what circuits you want to plug in. This will basically power up your whole house but you still only turn on the circuits that you need. So that could be a really easy installation because a generator inlet box isn't very expensive and you can have an electrician do that for on the cheap for probably a thousand bucks, plug and play, ready to go. And then you can just plug this in with an extension cord as needed, a little bit like a gas generator. Or you can also buy like a critical loads panel, which would have a transfer switch in it, just like this one here. This allows me to run certain loads. I can run my garage, also my kitchen, so my fridge stays powered up, and I can monitor it all with inside my garage and more. So this is another kind of a cool option that keeps your costs way, way down, but you will have to go out and manually transfer that power when the power does go out. So that's kind of the only drawback is that it's not fully automated. But those are ways to at least keep your costs way down when it comes to using this stuff. And it's nothing really more than just a giant, you know, generator or a giant power station. But again, if you want the full automation, you will need this smart home panel too. Now this is really considered just a full off-grid kit. This is not something like a Tesla Powerwall or an in-phase battery backup system where you can actually pump power back into the grid and accumulate like kilowatt credits, which that's not really even the right way to go anymore because due to new laws that are coming out, and especially if you live in California, they're not even wanting to pay you for the kilowatts that you produce. And that's only gonna get worse as time goes on. So having just a battery backup system to load shed, um, basically you could, let's say you wanna run your fridge all day off of this stuff and you have a small uh, solar system plugged into this directly. You may never run your fridge off of grid power again. You could simply just run it off of this along with other loads, like say your whole garage and other circuits in your house. So this can save you money. And then your return on investment might take two or three years to pay this off, maybe four years. It all depends on how you set it up. But that's really what you're looking at doing is get away from the grid power, those top tiers, and also having backup battery power when the power does go out. So that's kind of what you're trying to decide. What is gonna be best for you when it comes to buying this stuff? What is your needs exactly? Because this can get really expensive and then when you look at your return on investment, how long is that gonna take? Two years, four years, five or more? So, and also, are you going to be staying at your place of residence? Because that's one really nice thing about this full system if you don't go with this really, but if you were to say buy a 30 kilowatt energy system from EcoFlow, you can just simply roll it away and take it with you to your next house versus a Tesla Powerwall or an Enphase battery backup system, that's kind of a permanent mount. You really don't take that anywhere and that's all gotta be permitted and uh, enclosed with a house when you go and sell it and everything. You're not just gonna take the batteries off the wall. So that is one of the huge benefits with a system like this. You, you basically just take it with you. So I hope some of this information helped you as far as the cost of this, also some of the pros and a few of the cons that come with it. But I will be doing more testing as I actually haven't had this long enough to give a full evaluation of what I think. I've been doing a lot of different loads and more, but if you wanna learn more about the specs and everything, there is a video down below. And if you have any questions, there's a link down below called Ask Me, and I hope to see you guys next time.